Hello beauties, today I want to talk about retinols and why uh, prescription retinols versus non-prescription, uh, which ones are my favorite and why are they my favorite? So first I want to go back and just say that I love retinols. I love alpha hydroxy acids and I love retinols. And the reason why I love them is because they get to live cells and, and they actually stimulate live cells, which is what we call our batteries to our collagen and elastin fibers, and they strengthen the skin. So you have your collagen and elastin underneath in your deeper layers of your skin. Once you start using retinols, you're going to find that your skin is going to get tighter underneath. It's gonna be firmer. So it is a incredible ingredient for somebody that is losing tone. Like myself, I'm in my 60s and I have jarling and you know, the neck starts to go all these areas. Now, the one thing retinols will do is they really lessen the depth of wrinkles. They absolutely tighten your skin and they help your skin tremendously. Okay, now, especially on that underneath level, it tightens it up there, but on the very outer layer of the skin, it makes the skin more sensitive to the environment. So if you are not somebody that is really diligent with your sunscreen, then this is a problem and you need to not be using retinols if you are that outdoorsy kind of person. You might be better to use one of your alpha hydroxy acids. But if you are an outdoorsy kind of person and you are not being diligent with your sunscreen, then don't use retinols. And especially for someone who uses retinols, you know, a couple of times a week, um, or, or even every night, if you're using it that way, then you are maybe going on a vacation where you're gonna be in a sunny, sunny place, then you want to make sure that you're not taking your retinol with you on your vacation to that sunny, sunny place. So the big thing with retinols is that it does strengthen your dermal layers. It makes the skin more youthful. It lessens the depth of a wrinkle. It can help with post acne scarring. It has tremendous healing on the skin. Um, this is all true, but it does make the skin photosensitive and it thins the skin back. So that's why, you know, a skin that's using retinol, it's going to be a thinner skin on the outside and a strong skin on underneath. So your protection is really, really important, what you do topically to take care of your skin from the environment. Now, with the two different kinds of retinol, ret prescription retinol is a molecule that's called retinoic acid. And that is one that is the strongest molecule of the vitamin A grouping. And, you know, it goes through many different processes. It is something that is a small amount is absorbed into the bloodstream. That's why it is prescription. So that's why you're, you're told not to use it if you are pregnant. Um, but a small amount of it is absorbed into the bloodstream. And so if it is something you're using all the time, every single day, night, um, and it, it should only be used in the evenings generally, but um, if you are using it all the time, it's something to be mindful of. Now, I know because my sister used to take massive doses of vitamin A internally, that because she was on a the Nathan Pritikin diet, which had no fat in the diet, she was very lean, she, wasn't ha she didn't have a lot of fat, she was on a very healthy diet, um, the toxicity of the vitamin A um, um, vitamin she was taking, it actually um, was too much for her and she ended up getting cirrhosis of the liver. And that is 100% from the amount of vitamin A she was internally taking at the time, which was devastating and has, you know, affected her for the rest of her life. So do know that vitamin A, you know, in mass doses, like anything, is toxic. So if you don't have that fat in your body to absorb the toxicity of vitamin A, um, you just it's something you need to think about. So I'm bringing awareness to this. If you are a big user of prescription retinols, using it every single night and using it you know, all the time over many, many years, decades, that it does and can affect the liver. Okay, so do note that. Now, the reason why I am a big fan of the over-the-counter retinols is because they are so good. And there are so many out there that are so good. And the one that I'm going to show you today um, that I love is the Rejuvi the A Night Gel. Now, this one here, its pH is about a 4.6. It ranges between 4.5 and 
Um, this one here is a 0.70% retinol. But what is so special when you can use a retinol product that is a complex of vitamin A? So if you understand that each molecule, your, your retinol, your retinoic acid, your acetates, your palmitates, um, they're all different weight and size, okay? So if you're using the smallest molecule, which is a retinal molecule, um, that one will go to a certain level in the skin. And it, of course, it all means it depends on your formulas. If it's in a cream form, it's more buffered. If it's in a liquid form, it's going to be easier absorbed. So your formula matters a lot. This one here is a retinal serum. Now this is more oily, this is more of a light cream. So your formulas are different. Your pH is, is similar. Um, this one actually has a higher percentage of retinol in it and it's in a, a more oil form, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily stronger because formulas matter a lot. So when people ask, well, what is the percentage of the retinol? It, it depends on the formula and what else is combined with your product. So you can have a stronger retinol, but it can be less strong, less aggressive on the skin because of what it's combined with. So this is important to understand. So why I like these two in particular is because they have three molecules of your vitamin A grouping. And by, by having three molecules, that means that it's going to get to more levels in my skin, not just the one level, which is retinoic acid, your retinol, but it gets to more levels in the skin because it has different three different molecules of different size and weight. So it's going to build a stronger foundation. Now, I talk about this a lot because very often when I have somebody come in into my treatment room and they're using a retinol, a prescription retinol, their skin, they don't have, you know, their skin is, is nice and even in skin tone generally. They, they don't have really deep wrinkles generally, but their skin underneath is not, not so, you know, it, it's not well as well connected as somebody when you're using a multiple array of things. It's the same as, you know, in an ideal world, you want to be using alpha hydroxy acids as well as retinol. Maybe you're using your alpha hydroxy acids in the daytime because again, that glycolic, lactic, malic, tartaric, and citrus are all different weight and size. And if you're, you're, you're working with products that get to live cells, which your alpha hydroxy acids and your retinols get to live cells, then you are gonna have a more youthful skin, okay? So it's important to understand that the, the difference of, of what it takes, it takes the difference of what is your formula what is your delivery system like in your formula? Because there are some delivery systems, you can have fabulous ingredients in, the, in a product, but if your delivery system to get those fabulous ingredients to where they need to go is not great, then it doesn't mean anything. So fabulous ingredients, we want them to get to the areas that our skin needs. So when I talk about the skin, I talk about it like a house. It's a structure. It has a base, it has walls, and it has a roof. And all of those areas are important to keep it strong. So when you use a, a an over-the-counter, in this case, th these are both over-the-counter, and there are other brands out there, so many retinol, retinols out there, that if you can get them with more than, you know, two or three molecules of your vitamin A in there, then it's going to be a better product in that it's gonna to get to more levels. It's gonna help keep your skin stronger. So some skins that are just using prescription, their skin, it feels very slippery on the surface, but it doesn't feel right underneath. And so the stronger we can keep our skin, especially as you age, um, and I feel this a lot now because I'm in my 60s, that you know, in your 30s, 20s, 30s, 40s, you're not really seeing too much of the aging happening. When you get to your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, definitely you're seeing a lot more. Your skin gets thinner, it gets loose, the sun, past sun damage, everything starts coming out. That UVA damages those, thins the skin, it makes the skin loose. And so we want to be able to use um, actives like a retinol um, that really helps to strengthen our skin, but also keeps our skin young, healthy, pretty, don't go too strong too quickly. All of these things are damaging for the skin. So today I just wanted to point out more that 
There are great over-the-counter retinols out there. You want to be able to use it and be consistent. Now, if you're using a prescription strength, a lot of the time you can't use it all the time. You can't use it every night because it's too strong. It irritates the skin, makes skin thin. It can damage capillary walls because retinoic acid, which is a prescription strength molecule, it's strong and it can damage blood vessel walls. So topically, you know, you can, you've got a lot of things that can be going on. Always layer, put a good serum on first before you put your retinol on. If you're using a good over-the-counter one like this, either one of these, um, as I said, there are other brands out there that use it. In Rejuvia's case, it's um, three molecules of the vitamin A. They're really effective. It really helps lighten, you know, scarring, post-scarring people that have pimples and they're left with marks for a long time. It also helps with wrinkles. It helps keep the skin young and youthful. And I would be lost without having, you know, retinols in my life, really, um, the retinoid family and also alpha hydroxy acids. They're really important. And as you age, you, you know, it's depressing aging. I will be honest with you. It's not easy. So you do need th these types of products to help keep your skin young, looking pretty. And then you just got to make sure you're wearing a phenomenal physical sunblock um, all year long to protect your skin because you know you want to make your skin look pretty you want to buffer back your wrinkles you want to keep your pore size small you can do all of that but you have to be using a really good sunscreen because if you're not using a really good sunscreen or a sunblock physical sunblock at least an SPF 40 and putting several coats on your skin before you step outside of the house your skin is more vulnerable when you're using retinols you have to protect it topically from the environment or otherwise you will age faster. So there, there's a price you pay for all these things, right? You've got to take care of your skin if you're using retinols. So again, today's message is about the, the difference of a prescription retinol versus an over-the-counter one. Prescription, I know a lot of people like it and they've even advanced. So there are some prescriptions that work perfectly for some people and they're very happy. Um, but for you know most people, most of them, um, I like ones that have the different molecules. I told you why, because I want to work on the different levels in my skin, keep my skin strong. I don't want to make my skin sensitive to the elements. I don't want to wake up and feel it's too thin and ruddy and upset my capillaries, which some stronger pres prescription retinols will do. Um, you know, I like to be consistent with my regimen. It's how you keep your young, your skin young and pretty. And um, so I hope this was helpful for you today. Um, there are some really great over-the-counter retinoids out there. And um, as I said, this has got three molecules of the vitamin A. It's reasonable. It's um, around 50, they're around $50. Um, and they're really fantastic products. So if you want your, your skin to stay even skin tone, um, uh, you know, smaller pore size, lessen the depth of your wrinkles, then retinols are really great. But do put a serum on first? You know, I like the Q flavonoid. It's one I use over the top. Um, I have it right here, my Q flavonoid over the top of my retinols. This is what I love. This is my nighttime regimen. And uh, and that's it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if there's anything else I think of, I'll, I'll do something else. But I'm just trying to um, to think of everything. I had a client reach out to me who was using prescription retinol and she wanted me to have a look at her regimen. And I, when I looked at her skin, I thought, oh no, I have to talk about this because um, it's important to understand, um, you know, if your skin's just slippery, but it still doesn't feel really firm, you're using one molecule, you can't do that. You've got to use one that has more molecules, a complex of your vitamin A, not just retinoic acid, which is prescription. So I hope this was helpful. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you all again really soon. Bye-bye.